age. It continued the way, uh, changed the way young people are held liable for criminal activity. But as eyewitness news reporter Ben Dennis shows us, an unintended consequence of the measure is getting in the way of non-fatal shooting investigations. This spring, multiple Utica shootings have left victims injured but not dead. Locally, there's a problem associated when investigating these non-fatal shootings, says Oneida County District Attorney Scott McNamara. A lot of the shootings we're seeing right now involve people that are underage, that not, we no longer have jurisdiction over the DA's office. That's because under New York's Raise the Age policy, 16-year-olds who commit a crime are no longer treated as adults. Now, they're handled through the family court system instead of going to jail. 17-year-olds will be phased in this fall. Family court's not meant to prosecute people. It's meant to rehabilitate children. When it comes to young people, 15 and 16-year-olds, our office doesn't have jurisdiction unless they kill somebody. So basically, we don't come into play unless there's a, there's a, sh you know, a serious shooting. Um, if they were to shoot somebody and, and, you know, and hurt them and the person was willing to cooperate, we could possibly prosecute that. But we lose the ability to prosecute drug cases involving these people, and we lost the ability to prosecute possession of a handgun by itself on these. McNamara says non-fatal shooting investigations can prove problematic because victims may refuse to cooperate or even give false information. If you can't get people to cooperate, you target that person in other ways. What other, th what other things is that person? person doing uh, that maybe we could catch them at. Selling drugs is very common. Oneida County has received grant funding in the past to aid investigations of non-fatal shootings. McNamara is awaiting approval from the County Board of Legislators to accept another to the tune of $78,000. In Utica, Ben Dennis, Eyewitness News.